Why, hello everybody, it's Joy Selena, and I am back for another episode of the Just Vanilla Server, um, our little let's play here. I know you're thinking, what happened around here? Well, it's Thanksgiving time. And so I decided in, um, in honor of the holidays, this is a US holiday by the way, but um, I decided to download this great Thanksgiving pack that um, it does some changes to some mobs and to some trees. I don't know if you can see over there by that tree, right behind me, some orange skeletons. So um, they apparently ate way too many pumpkins and it killed them and they died and their bones are orange, I guess. So anyway, so with that in mind, I decided it gave me some inspiration um, about what we can possibly do here. When you have Thanksgiving, the number one primo thing to eat is turkey. And so this mod pack changes our little chickens to turkeys. Let's go see them. No, you're supposed to say gobble gobble. So that would be an update to the resource pack. Maybe I should leave that in the comments for the person who made this. But look at the cute little turkeys. So it made me think what we are not having here is a um, renewable resource for food, like a, like a mass production. So, um, oh, and it also changes. Swords look like knives that would be used to cut the turkeys. And I need my bow to get the skeletons because we are going in this general direction. And I don't want to be killed. Uh, well, you just hid. Uh, anyway, so we need a renewable resource of food. And so what I was thinking, are you trying to kill my guys still? Take that. Um, so one of the things I was thinking was over here, we were gonna kind of do a free range uh, chicken farm. So we were gonna build a chicken house and we were gonna have an area where they could just wander around, um, maybe do a chicken coop of some tour, a chicken coop of some type. That's what happens when you try to talk too fast. And so these guys could be more free roaming ch chickens. There will be some fencing and it'll be pretty big. Uh, this might be a good space for the actual chicken coop. And so we'll have some fencing around here and they'll be able to roam around and we'll have a nice little house for what would be like a, the, the, uh, the Fletcher, I guess. Was that what you would call him? Somebody who, um, that's somebody who makes uh, bows, excuse me, arrows. But they could make arrows, they could make uh, all sorts of things. So I guess the farm hand that handles the chickens, maybe that's what will go here. Um, so just reminds us that Fletcher might be something that we need to anticipate having over in our armory, wherever it ends up. Um, also a bakery, because eggs, mm, eggs make pies and cakes and all sorts of yummy things. So I think when we build our chicken coop, we will have some of them that will be stuck in there and trapped and have maybe hoppers on the bottom um, under some carpet so that the hoppers are then collecting uh, the eggs and storing them. But, you know, I had mentioned back when I started that one of the things I had thought about was that on the surface, everything would be pretty typical. Uh, you would see the free roam chick chickens in the, in the coop and that would give the appearance of just a very medieval times feeling. But that underneath is where we wanted to have our automation. So the one of the things I'm planning on doing then is um, automating where the chickens can reproduce. And I'm sure you've seen a chicken cooker. So we'll have that down under the ground and that will supply uh, our meat, our cooked chickens, um, so that we can have food ongoing. Now, lately, voting has given me the option to, I've, I've gotten lots of beef here. Um, but then we can have all the chickens is we's wants. So I will begin kind of mapping that out and I might do like a build, quick build mode. I don't know, we'll see. You'll find out in just a second. Oh, you know, I was going, I was trying to, I need to organize my inventory here. I have a bunch of stuff that I got from the voting and, um, oh, and somebody dropped their sword. Um, and then I realized, I don't know if I've shown you. So underneath the fishing farm, like, I have to be careful. This is underneath the fishing farm, right? And all our stuff gets collected 
in here. It's actually this very bottom one. Got some wool. I think I just dumped my supplies in there. Um, but I've been hiding these guys as I've been um, basically capturing zombie villagers and then healing them. I don't know how I missed... Will you please move out of the way? I, I, I'd like to talk to the guy behind you. Yeah, you. I don't know if I've shown you him. Librarian. I already did a couple of trades. I'm like, oh, what's the book that he has? Mending. He has a mending book for one book and 14 emeralds. I think that's pretty much as close to perfect as you can get. I have the perfect villager. You are perfect. You are perfect, and I love you, and I will protect you with my life. With everything I have, I will protect you. So now, after we, I, it, it tells me that I need to be able to get lots of emeralds, which means I need to be able to have a paper an automated paper farm, and then he likes uh, leather, so I need an automated cow killer, and then he likes string, so I need to find me a, um, a whatchamacallit, a, a, a spider spawner. We got things to be doing. Things to be doing. Anyway, um, I'd so I thought I'd show you this lovely, lovely villager, my favorite. We're gonna have to name him, so, Give me some names in the comments of who the, the perfect villager, what his name should be. Uh, and I will leave it at that. You are probably going to be my screenshot. Look at you. You're beautiful. I love you. I heart you. Um, if I could give you something, I would. I don't have any bread. You want an apple? Here, have an apple. Um, anyway, I thought I'd show you that while I'm going and sorting my stuff. Oh, got to make sure. This is, this is how I keep them safe. Very well lit. And no one can get in. And now I've made sure that zombies can't get in here by, like, covering up the doors. I put the doors on backwards so they can't knock them down when they're shut because they're technically open. But, um, that didn't seem to work. So, it was a great idea while it didn't last. I think that's how I got killed. was because this was not really closed when it was closed. I'm thinking... Something like that. Anyway, okay, I'll get back to it. I think what I'm going to do is do some planning after I empty my inventory and just kind of map out where I'm going to put what. And then once I have it all planned out, I will bring you back. Okay, so I went through. I'm checking to see what time of day. Because, you know, with me, half the time is turning into night. So um, my thoughts are a very small chicken farmer's house right here and it will probably go straight away ladder wise to go down so in fact if I could figure out the redstone I might even try to put in a little doorway here so that you know you click on a button and and down you go what do you think oh um so this is gonna be a little farmhouse and then I was thinking of a fence you know um I just tore down by the way I tore down that humongous jungle tree that was there. And I thought, oh, well, then we'll, we'll just put jungle fence around there. But you know what? I think I might want to do stone. So how we're been, we've been using our stone bricks and cracked stone bricks and smooth stone and andesite. I am thinking I might want to do that. And so I didn't make the area too big. Oops, might help if I run rather than just jump. Um, but probably somewhere around here. I don't know. I might extend it. Wah! Um, to the other side of the hill and then up and around but maybe not because in this way we get a chance to actually see it uh, but have it come up and around I may only just do part way up the mountain um, and the other thing I want to do is I want to I think I'm gonna want these to combine so that let me out let me out so that we have the water from our pond coming in here. What do you think? Boy, that didn't take long at all. So yeah, I'm going to have to fix it up so it looks the way I want it to. I love the sound of the running water. Um, yeah, so that's... I think that's the plan we have in store. So that this fencing will come right up to the pond. Um, oh, I'm out of... I'm out of blocks. But... Uh, have it come to right about, right about here and then this will all be one big whoops wrong tool this will be all one big water uh, pond area so we'll extend this a bit 
which I like. So, oh, already. Wow. You're very dressed up, Mr. Zombie. I like this, Hall uh, this Thanksgiving pack. Actually, I was thinking Halloween pack because, you know, all the monsters are kind of orangish. Anyway, so, hello, Mr. Turkey. I will go in and I will fill that part in and I will start building. And like I said before, I think I might do a montage. Depends on how much time I have today. Because um, I got a hot date. Yesterday was my anniversary and my husband and I went out to dinner and then um, we did not get a chance to go see Thor, which it's been like out for three weeks and I haven't seen it yet. There, take that. And so I think we're gonna go see Thor. And so I may not have time to finish this and get this uploaded to you in the next 24 hours, but I will work on it. I'm going to try really, really hard. What? Oh, man. I can't see your face. It's very discerning. Okay, seriously? Why am I having trouble hitting you today? There we go. My armor saved me, man. He did not have a very good bow. Um, anyway. Okay. I got distracted. I got distracted by the bad guys, turkey. Uh, so I will get to building and putting this together. And I am excited to see about how it looks. Okay. Well, welcome back. And here we are with our chicken house. And our chicken coop is on the way. So I wanted to show you... A small little house, this, so the footprint is only five by five. So it's only a three by three interior, pretty small. And down there is where we're, our, our secret base, where our secret auto chicken cooker is going to be. But don't tell anyone. Oh, come back here. Um, so I put the fence almost, excuse me, almost all the way around and tried to do some detailing. So not, I mean, not all places are are mob proof. I don't think that's really what I was going for, but I wanted to go for the look like you might think it was, but it's not really. And then I stopped it right about here. Um, and I was going to record a montage for you. In fact, I recorded it all, but I think this episode is going to be long enough without it. And I wanted to actually show the building of the chicken coop mm. as opposed to what I did with this, which was just go and me placing blocks and then forgetting to have stuff in my hot bar and um yeah i think it'll end up making you look making you sick if i tried to do that speeding it up so um overall it's just a real simple design and i realize i goofed here that's not where that goes come back here there's a cow living in my free range chicken spot can i can i reach there come on can i reach there that's how it's supposed to look. There we go. Endermen clearly have been around. Grr, those Endermen. Mm. So amazingly, my chicken coop is also a five by five. So it's essentially the same footprint as the house. Um, I think I would, do I have room to back it up? Yeah, I have room probably to back it up three spaces. So let's plan that out. See, again, I don't have the right stuff on my hot bar. That, that, I need that. I don't need anything else, I don't think. So, four, five. Clearly, y'all need to count. One, so that's three. You know what, I don't have any more. My shears, my shears got killed. They're all worn out. Now I gotta do it by hand, the old fashioned way. Back before the newfangled technology of iron and shears. And look, I thought, oh, I'll start recording. It's daytime. Not for long. That's just how it is with Joy Selena. Okay, so is it here? Let me make sure here. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. And there, and there, and there. So we are going to have a place for um, the chicken coop. I don't think we're going to purposefully, maybe we will. Maybe I'll use a fence to block. Um, oh, excuse me. Very noisy chair. Sorry about that. Um, 
I don't know if I'll block the chickens in and keep some of them in here. I might, uh, depending on how many chickens we end up with, because uh, I also need to make chickens in the secret chicken cooker. But uh, I figure we're probably going to get some eggs from doing that. So let's come down here. We're going to put... Oh, I... Why am I doing it the hard way? I have a shovel. So we're gonna bury some hoppers down here that will feed into, oh, I don't need, I don't need you there. That will feed into a chest. So we'll put the chest here, monk. And then we'll have a hopper feeding into the chest and a hopper feeding into there and a hopper feeding into there, and then a hopper feeding into there, which, so this is gonna be the center of my chicken coop, but it's gonna be up here. And then we're gonna have half slabs, essentially, whoops, half slabs all around it. So I need hoppers to be feeding into there. This is very similar to what I did, in fact, it's exactly similar to what I did with the skeleton spawner. So where the skeletons die, all of their stuffs gets put into into hoppers and I have to stand back far enough for the hopper to actually fit Doo -doo. there there and I pinned myself in brilliant feed into there feed into there perfect and then cover this all back up Oops, oops, I can't get to that. I might have to put you in after I put the dirt back in. There, and now I feed into there. So we will take a stair to hide it all and a step up. And so we don't fall into there. So we can, we can reach in when we need to, and then cover that up. So no chickens is fall there. And this is where my floor is gonna be. So we're gonna have a floor all the way around here. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Um, and then I need blocks on here. So I'm trying to think, I want full blocks here. Oops, here and here. And how far up do I want them? And do I want them one more than that? Can't remember. I think I do. There. I think I want one more up. So that's like a block and a half. Oh, hello there. I see you. You're thinking about coming to visit, but I've confused you with my not quite fence fence. There's another one. You are less confused. Let you burn a little. Not enough, huh? Ah, there it goes. Okay, so now I gotta get back up here. Where was I? I was up here. And up and up Ooh. so and I think I have slabs on this one to get the height that I want and then we come down this is gonna be full blocks here oh. I guess it doesn't matter which axe I use right full blocks there But I want slabs here so the chickenses can get in. We can walk around. And a full block there. And then we're going to come down another step. Oh, more zombies. I needed a lot less slabs than I thought I did. Where are you at? 
See, still confused. Confused by the fence. I love it. Oh, and actually we're gonna take this one out and put, oh, actually I need it in. This is kind of crazy, I need it in. Put that on there and then take it out. Right? Yeah, like that. And the same on this side. Bonk. That's what I'm doing wrong. I'm like, I don't know why I had to keep taking these slabs off. Those should be slabs. I was right in the first place. I shouldn't question myself. Except for that I did something wrong. I just didn't do that wrong. There we go. That goes there. Nope, that does not go there. That goes there. And then these are like that. Ah, that makes so much more sense. Oh my goodness, please. Just cooperate. I need to put you over here. That makes more sense. And then on this side, yeah, so again, I wanna put that there. Put that over it. I didn't do that on this side, did I? No, I didn't. Put that over it. And then take that up. Is that the right one? That's not even the right one. Good grief. No, that's the right one. It should be this one. Right? Am I right? No, I think I was right before. Yeah, this is a great tutorial, don't you think? How to. Don't do it the way I do it, because I do it like the wrong way half the time. Okay, so then I can take that off, and I can take that off. See if I can get my blocks back. I can't even jump. Get this block back. Did I get them back? I don't even know. I don't even know, and I don't think it really matters. Okay, then this one is gonna be just too high at this point and then one and a half over here. So that's essential. Oh, again, another one. That is essentially how it's supposed to look. I'm giving you the ax. You're fired. Okay, so that's the essential shape of the chicken coop. Um, slabs here, because the chickens are small enough they can enjoy that little space back there. And it's less, they're less cooped up at this point, and then, dot, 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 dot. You are making me nervous, little creepers. Keep to yourself over there, okay? You stay there, I'll stay here, and then you don't have to die. And I don't have to die, and I think that's a pretty good trade. So, pretty simple. Oh, I was gonna do one more detail thing in the front with my final trap door. And I don't need dirt on the outside of it. Uh, that needs to be there. Trap door there. This is a lot more square than the one that I had made earlier. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. There's something about it that just seems really plain. This, I feel like these need to be um, trap doors as well. And I wonder if I need, oh, you know what I need? I need these to be logs, don't you think? In fact, maybe we'll have them logs have them as logs all the way down. Plonk. It still seems very boxy. 
Huh. Okay, this is what happens when I experiment on camera. It is feeling awfully boxy to me. So I might try some stuff out and then come back to you with a completed design. How's that sound? That sounds like a plan to me. Sounds like plans, Dan. Come back here. There's all the blocks I've been looking for. How many are down here? <laughs> there they are. Okay, I'm gonna go see, because I've done this before and it didn't look so boxy. Or maybe it did, but I just didn't care enough. So, hmm. I'll be back. Okay, now I figured out what it was. Um, it was that I had to have this overhang and I didn't have that before. And then um, I had this nice little setup I thought that would look good and then I realized what that did is it allowed me to bump this step out one. And so then I could put my trap door with my chest under here so I didn't have to have it like standing out like a sore thumb for all the world to see. So I thought that would be a good way of having uh, that covered up. So that's the overall design. I think I might need a few gates here. I'm wondering. Or I'm wondering if this should actually be... Hmm. I think it should be a one wide gate, don't you? Except for... I. Yeah, I'm not sold on this. I'm not sold on this right here. What if I turned that 90 degrees? What if I had it like this and it would look more like an arch? Yeah, that's better. That's, that's the ticket. I think that's what I want. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll just end up having an arch that looks more like that. Okay, so we'll keep it like that. I'll put in a few extra gates and I think that the chicken coop is ready and we'll have to migrate some of our chickenses over here. I don't know, I'm mowing the lawn now. Uh, the other thing I need to do is work on lighting because I don't want torches just everywhere. That kind of looks not great. Don't you agree? Okay, uh, I'll mow off camera. It's very noisy. And I don't think I want the hillside mode. So chickens is. How do you like the new place? Yeah, you. I have a few seats. You want to? You want to try it out? Come on down. Come look. I think you'll like it. Yeah. You can roam. You can roam anywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna come back. And I'm gonna put up some more fencing around here. Um, when you get back, when I bring you back, I guess I should say, we'll include some fencing that comes down around here. And maybe I'll have some chickens roaming around with a little fence. And that will be the plan. And then I'm trying to think of my lighting. I have two lightings. I have this lighting, which I kind of like. And I think I might do that using the acacia wood or I could use, well, yeah, I have the acacia wood here. I could also use the dark oak. I'll see. I guess you'll find out in just a moment as the sun sets on Joy Selena yet again. Okay, while well, I'm finalizing things out here and it's pouring down rain, it's nighttime, and I see some skelly horses. And with the lightning, I'm a little concerned to go over there. It's coming near me. Do I kill it? Do I let it be? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Oh, I knew it. No, no, no. This is my death. This is my death. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let me in. Let me in. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, uh, uh. What do I do? What do I do? I should have known. I should have known. Now who are they fighting? Are they fighting each other? Yes, they are. Ha! Taking one out. I'm sorry. My silence is for 
How treacherous this was. I knew I shouldn't have gone anywhere near them. Bonk. Nope. Oh, I missed. Bonk. Oh, you're in the water. Ha ha. Oh, the four horsemen. Fortunately, my horsey, Joyride, is safe. I'm worried. Are they Are they under here? Did one of them live? Oh, oh, it's just the horsey now. Can I tame him? Let's see. Oh, he's still alive. Let's kill him. Wow. Ha ha. Gotcha. So, what happens if I try to click on him? <gasps> Can I tame him? Can he be mine? Would you be mine? Look, you're not very strong. But how cool would that be to have my own skeleton? I'm stuck. How do I get off of you? Okay, you're not saying yes. You're not saying no. You're just kind of stuck up there. Come on down. Let's get to know each other. Yes? No? Um, I'm curious. Okay, don't go anywhere. I will be right back. Do, 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 do. Can I put a saddle on him? One wonders. I actually have never, I don't know much. I just know don't go near him when there's thunder and lightning. <gasps> I can. And he's mine. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I took your horse from you. Take that. Don't you dare kill him. I'll be so mad. Oh, that went over your head. Quit bobbing. Will you quit bobbing? Oh, thorns. I'm like, what the heck? Who hit me? Aha. Well, I don't know what happens to you in sunlight, but there you go. Welcome. Welcome to the family. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I need something. I need something to eat. Don't worry. This isn't horse. This is cow. Don't you feel bad. Do I need to give you an apple and heal you up? Come down here. Zoom. Nope. Wrong one. Where are the, where are the apples? App apples. Apples. Okay. I'll give you one or two. Here. Apple? Apple? No? Apple? Um... Neither one of you took the apple. Well, I guess you don't, I didn't check your health. You, you're still not feeling well. Whoops. Uh, no apple for you, huh? Nope, that just has me ride you. Okie dokie, well, you feel better soon. Hopefully you won't die. Well, that was an adventure I did not expect to have. Anyway, well, here. Oh, goodness. Let me... First, I'm going to make you sick by moving around a lot. Um, let me show you what I got. And wrap things up because this video is already getting pretty darn long. Huh. Um, so yeah, I put in some lights. I wrapped around. And I did actually go to the back of the hill on this. Um, whoops, that's the house. I don't want to go in the house. I put up some lights. And I uh, walked around, tried to make sure that there was plenty of lights that um, we wouldn't get mobs spawning on the inside because that would not be fun for anyone. Whoops, no, I don't like that. We'll just have the bush there and a bush there. How's that? That hides that light. There's light hidden under there. This will be a trap door. And I think that's about it. But no, so I took the fence and I put all the way up here and I did around and then I just used acacia wood because it was much easier to just make a straight fence around here some of my chickens got out and so I put a second layer on there um, and then here right right here is where they got out but they can't get back in but that's okay we can get back in we know how to use tools so I don't know I think I might put a gate here or something because they seem to be liking it out here quite a bit. 
Let's see if we can get him back in. Here, turkey, turkey, turkey. Well, you two are happy. Come right through here. This is the safe haven. Maybe you know, maybe you've heard that sometimes the chickenses get cooked. But you're a turkey and it's past Thanksgiving, so you're safe until Christmas. Well, I think that will, will do it for me today. I really like how this turned out. I did not get a chance to do my uh, automatic chicken cooker, cooker. I might do that offline and just show that to you next time. Um, or I might build it on, on the server next time. Who knows? And as the sun sets yet again on Joy Selena, I bid you adieu. And I will see you next time. Thank you.